Hello. Welcome. It's Saturday, and I want to do some casual gaming. And I wanted to play Frostpunk with you. So let's do that. I have tried to play it a few times. It's a pretty hard game. Let's do something about the audio. Try a new scenario. They have been released a lot of new stuff. Um, what is Frostpunk? You ask. Yeah, Frostpunk is generally a survival game uh, where you build a base and try to survive on the harsh environment of winter. The world has. Um, the world has uh, just fallen apart, and we have to survive, basically. So, um, why don't we just start the game? You can see the intro, and uh, we're gonna play from there. Let's try a new home, it's the main story. Um, yeah. Select scenario, a new home. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive who will be we become in the process. And uh, yeah, okay, we can customize the scenario. <laughs> survivor survivor mode? No, I'm not tough enough for that. Oh, it's different scenarios we can enjoy. But let's try a new home. Yeah. 
Looking forward to the winter? <sighs> we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Or did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world has, as we know it, has crumbled. So this is the uh, situation, this is status. We have to survive. And as far as I can see, it's a really, really cold environment we are gonna survive in. Okay, fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, it will freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay. So I can basically pause the game with my space button. And uh, this is the trench we are uh, in outside there's just freezing death okay so this is our guys we do have what is it 65 people our generator we have to stockpile some coal turn the generator on okay so let's find some coal okay this is how I turned so what is this it's wood crates this is steel wreckage this is wood crates is this coal? Yes, this is coal. So we do have some coal over here. Build a coal mine here to start extraction. Okay. Some wood crates here. Gives us wood. And uh, yeah, what is this? Coal pile. This coal piles. Okay, so we can get some people to gather that. Let's see. What do we have here? Stop piles. Okay. Store our stuff. So, okay, let's get some people over to the coal pile working. Resources. Yeah, people working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. And I need 50 wood and 5 steel to build that. I do have 30 wood and 10 steel, so let's start doing that. I will have some people going over here to gather some coal. So I have coal coming in. <clears throat> See, they just wade in the snow now. 50 people there. Should we get someone together from here? Yeah, come on, guys. We need coal. Let's 
speed it up. We need to get to 200 and we can start the generator and we are in business. You have a lot of discontent people, they are homeless. So I need to gather wood soon. Also, in four days, the temperature will drop with two levels. Uh, which means it will become very cold. Very cold. Okay, we do have 200. Let's turn it on. Do do that? Inoperative. generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Okay, now food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay, I will do that. We can go down to normal. Secure raw food supply, build the hunter's hut or a hot house. Food. Hunter's hut. Hot house. sound of people turning <laughs> turning in for night okay and we do have some issues housing problem no roof over our heads captain people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter they they are falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold well why we'd better do something about it so I get choices I provide some shelter. Uh, so I will provide shelter for everyone, or I won't address this right now. And discontent will rise slightly depending on what I promise. This will give me two days to provide shelter for 80 people, uh, or I can have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. You know what? You can sleep outside for now. Telling me what to do, huh? You're lucky I am. 
providing you with coal. Okay, so we have let's have people working. Sadler. <laughs> cool. What is this? A word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands. Remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution. Not the best one. You don't have to agree with everything they ask you. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Fine. How many woods? What do we have? Okay, uh, right now I'm concerned about <sighs> food for your people. That costs 10 wood. No, no can do. You can starve for now. And what do you mean? It's uh, there's food. There is food. Let's see. Can't eat raw food. Speed it up. getting sick so we should look into getting wood quite fast let's have some engineers working starting day two this game is coming as a board game ladies and gentlemen uh, that's why I'm uh, fiddling about playing with the game uh, on the computer now because I'm I'm playing with the idea of buying the board game it's uh, I think you can uh, support it on Kickstarter right now I am debating if I want to do that myself because it looks really good it's basically the same you're managing resources you're building stuff you're trying to survive and there's a story implemented in there go check it out on Kickstarter's Frostpunk yeah okay can I have my wood now please Start creating roads and stuff, but um, I need resources going first. I'm 
dreading the temperature going down. Let's try cows. No, not like that. Turn, turn, turn them. Find the button. Nope. Let's check the um, do -do 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 controls. game speed oh cool pan right camera center shortage. The number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Oh, okay. So we have the Book of Laws. Um, we can implement emergency shift. Sometimes you have to concentrate on a task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. I could sign that. I could have child labor. Uh, safe jobs, there aren't enough hands to do all the work. We'll allow children to be employed in safe workplaces like cookhouses or hothouses. Uh, or 
can sign for uh, shelters. Cemetery, corpse disposal, sustain life. Let's, let's sign emergency shifts. Yeah. Until you die. Yeah, if we're gonna survive this, I think we have to do that. Let's say you guys have to do that. Oh, they are not happy with me. Some of the coal I have enough coal coming in and the engineer How's the coal pile doing there is great. It's two hundred and eighteen, this is two hundred and forty nine. Okay. some more wood people from our convoy with basic resources secured for now we can try to rescue the people we left behind build a beacon scout frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible you'll need a workshop to decide plans for more advanced buildings do but first we need more holes without shelter people will get sick and die I can't afford that so first thing first This will be a series. I ain't gonna play Frostpunk until it's done today. I'm just playing a few days and I will be back playing some few days again later on. So it will be kind of a campaign. Ah, here we go. House is uh, done. We have people moving in. Yeah, cool. And we have this person is sick.
this dial mouse button. Not that it matters, but uh, aesthetically I like to build my city. It looks nice. So I can build... So we see we do have wood coming in because of the poor people working uh, extra hours. Using standard meals, people have food. Another hunter's hut. I like seeing things being built. Shop going. So we're gonna take a few engineers from here. Technology. We can we can go for heaters. Allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during working hours. We can go for exploration and industry. What the game wants us to. Uh, that is twenty wood and uh, ooh, it's ten wood to research it and I need steel. Steel works. Gather steel. Is this steel wreckage. This is steel wreckage. Okay. I have coal is going great at the moment. Hundred and seventy seven, hundred and seventy two. So let's have three from here. Seven from here going for the wreckage. Let's have an engineer joining them just to manage to work. Yep, get some steel going. And um, in the meantime. Better snow trees and enhanced camouflage. Hunters setting out for the hunter set will return with more food from each hunt. That's great. Okay, let's start food gathering first. Okay, you're done. Let's have some more tents coming up. Some more tents coming up on this side. 
so we're gonna have housing for everyone. That's why I <laughs> force people to work all night gathering wood. It's 12 left, so there's they are almost finished now. I empty emptied the emptied the uh, resources. Two more, come on. You can build the last tent. Yay! Come on! We are out of wood. A wage. I'm doing this for you guys. You know? Really made this heater look warm. Okay, they are depleted. That's good. Thank you for your offering. Uh, you can join the rest of the people here. And yeah, that's wood crates. So let's put the rest in there. Extend the workday. Question is Shall I have children in shelters? Uh, or shall I go for um, child labor? safe jobs I vote for child labor yes kids have to work too Considering another another hunter's hut, and yeah, we have steel coming in. From our convoy, family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city 
with the main group but she's sure she is still out there she wants to join the first scout team will send out she urges you to hurry yeah we're working on it we are working on it so i can have let's have two children working here children working. That's nice. Do something. Yeah. Okay. Need more people. Six beds, six beds needed. Uh, yeah, I will open the medical pools. I, I, I can promise that. I can promise that. sick people will make other people sick uh, uh, something we have experienced the last few months uh, going with our friendly COVID uh, that sick people makes makes other people sick so the same thing in Frostpunk you have sick people it gonna spread and uh, soon everyone is sick and dying and yeah you know how that goes when you live in a hole in the snow and 
add something to the food. I can go for soup instead. Yeah, let's go for soup. You are eating too much soup. Search um, the medical posts and we gonna treat the sick. Oh, what's this? Three are gravely ill. Okay, so people are gonna die if I don't get the medical post up and running real soon. into getting the coal mine up and running. Uh, I do have a lot of iron now. That's good. Or steel. I can... Medic posts. I can build it. Okay, let's do that. Uh, yeah, so let's get the medic post up. I thought I had to research it. Obviously not. got distracted at work and has been injured uh, okay he can take the day off I don't want kids to be hurt I just want them to work the danger of the cold frostbite one of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite this will keep happening if people have to work in such cold uh, I see <laughs> I see Build the medical post, please. I need it. 
coal pile depleted and now I have a lot of people not having, having anything to do. Okay. I have a coal pile here. You can have five of you guys going there. Some good crates. Five. A couple of engineers. Five kids. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Is this wood crates? Wood crates steel. Let's have the wood. I think I will need the engineers now that. Um, our medical posts are soon to be coming operative. We're starting to get a, a, a nice little settlement, I think. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We do have. We need engineers. Let's see. I have two, five, one. Okay, let's pull one from here, let's pull one from here, and is it four here? No, okay, there you go. And everyone, work there. There you go. That should be sufficient. the gravely, gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. We don't risk dangerous amputation with radical treatment. Uh, you, okay, the gravely ill will be kept alive, uh, but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Uh, discontent will rise slightly. The gravely ill will not be treated and remain a burden. Yeah, I don't like that. Radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Uh, okay, the gravely ill will be treated. Hope will rise. 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. See what I'm dealing with? Now we have to cut off limbs. Okay, radical treatment it is. <laughs> they like me, but they also dislike me a lot. Oh. See, we helped them. Things got better. going to get out and find our the rest of our convoy where are you going oh it's the hunters going to get some food how's the food going whoa not good Wrap 
wrap it up for today very very soon and just build the beacon Here we are. Yeah. So we need people doing that. Need at least five citizens. Must be available. Not enough wood. Okay. Forty wood. Oh man. Okay. Let's have things. What's the wood pile? Let's get max people going for the wood pile. going down to 40 Celsius. Or, yeah. Okay, I actually think I'm gonna wrap it up there. And uh, next time we're gonna be back playing more Frostpunk. We're gonna send our party out to find the lost expedition, getting more people. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this and uh, pop by anytime uh, you see me on. Remember to um, subscribe so you will see me getting on live and. Um, you see anything I do wrong let me know I am open for ideas so I'll save this and let's call it you save file can I call it something yeah okay save and we're gonna call it live stream city Okay. Gonna continue live stream city. Maybe tomorrow I will see if I get the time. But uh, on the weekdays I will be back playing uh, an hour or so with Frostpunk for you guys. So there you go. Thank you for watching and um, pop by and check out my other videos. Until next time, I'm seeing you.